Before getting started with using the MeasureOn app, you can connect your laser distance measure with your smartphone to input your measurement data and take advantage of all of its features. To set up a connection, first switch on your laser distance measure and activate Bluetooth. Then activate Bluetooth on your smartphone. Open the MeasureOn app. Tap the Bluetooth icon on the bottom left corner, select your tool, and tap connect. If you are having problems setting up a connection, just tap the question mark icon. You can also set up a connection later or use the MeasureOn app without connecting a laser distance measure. This is MeasureOn's home screen. Before starting your first project or workspace, you can easily change the unit of measurements and decimal places by tapping the icon in the upper right corner. Then tap App Settings and find the measurement unit and decimal place. You can also change the language settings. If at any time you have problems with the Bluetooth connection or any other issues, please visit this menu to show the FAQs or contact our app support. The app can be used offline and without entering a single key ID. However, if you want to enable cloud services to back up and synchronize your data and access your projects from anywhere, you have to log in with your single key ID and sign up for MeasureOn Pro Cloud. Now it's time to create your first project. It is up to you if you want to start a whole project or just a workspace. Tap the plus button to see the two options. A project can contain many workspaces, client details, and a project photo. A single workspace can contain several floor plans, photos, and notes, and can be moved into a project at a later stage. Let's start with a new project first. You can add a project photo by tapping the area near the top of the screen. Either take a new photo or select one from your camera roll. You can also change the project name by going back to the home screen and then tapping the three horizontal dots in the project thumbnail. Add a new workspace by tapping the plus icon and then workspace. Every workspace can be used like an endless digital paper. Individual rooms, floor plans, measurements, photos, and notes can be added easily. Tap Room Sketch to start drawing a new floor plan with your finger. As soon as you close a room, the app will automatically switch into measuring mode, in which you can add measurements to the sketched walls. You can also switch into measuring mode manually in case you sketch a room that's not closed. You can only sketch one room at a time, but then arrange endless room sketches on your workspace. Pinch to zoom in or out for easier manipulation of your drawing. Tap on a wall to select it. The wall is now highlighted in blue. Then, take a measurement with your laser distance measure. The measured value will be attached to the selected wall automatically. Your room sketch walls will automatically be scaled according to the measured values. A second way to add in measured values is by remote measure. Select another wall, then tap the remote measure button in the bottom area of your smartphone. Tap once to activate the laser. When tapping a second time, you will capture the measurement. Now, the measured value has been added to the wall. Now, you can add a measured value to the bottom wall. First, measure the bottom wall in your room without having a wall selected. Now, the measured value shows in the horizontal list at the bottom. The newest recorded value will be located first on the very left. Tap Show All to view all of your measurements in a vertical list or to delete unwanted measurements. You can now add the measured value to the bottom wall via drag and drop. Now, select the upper wall. You can also add in a value manually by tapping the blue button in the bottom area. Be careful. If there is a logical conflict, it will be shown in brackets, but the app will not calculate floor area. To add the room's height, tap on height in the bottom left corner, and then add the height via one of the measuring methods we've just covered. A room height must be defined before you can add an element, such as a door or window, to the wall. To export and share your measurements to an Excel sheet, scroll your list of measurements to the far right and tap Show All. This will pull up a full list of your measurements. Here you can choose to save the file to your device or send it via email, text, or a method of your choice. To get into the wall view mode, first select a wall and then tap View Wall on the bottom. 
Measuron now switches from the bird's eye view into the wall view, showing one wall with its height and width. By tapping the arrows on the left and right, you can jump between the walls of your room sketch. Tap the plus button to add doors and windows to your wall. In this mode, you can also see the metadata of your wall. The wall net area shows the value of the wall area minus windows and doors. The wall gross area shows the value of the full wall area. After adding a door or window, you can simply move it to its individual position via drag and drop. Individual measurements can then also be added to the doors and windows. Tap the plus button to add a photo to your workspace. Either take a new photo or select one from your camera roll. Tap the arrow icon to add an arrow to your photo. Position the arrow's end via drag and drop. The magnifier helps you place your line at exactly the right position. With the arrow selected, you can then add a measurement to your item. You can also change the color and the strength of the line at the bottom of your screen. Now, tap the text icon and then tap the picture to add text. To add an area calculation to your photo, tap the area button at the bottom of your screen, then draw a rectangle with your finger. Keep the rectangle selected. To transfer an area value from your laser distance measure, you first have to select the area mode. Measure height, then width with your laser distance measure. Now, the measured value is transferred to your rectangle automatically. Proceed similarly to add an angle's inclination. Now you can organize your room sketches, photos, and notes in your workspace according to your personal needs. Move them via drag and drop, resize them, or shrink them. You can also drop them onto your room sketch if you want to group them or attach to a specific position. Tap on the room sketch and then pull up the drawer if you want to see the items attached. Tap on photos and notes as well to show the item's information and options. To export and share a room sketch, photo, or note, tap on the element and then tap Share. Choose your file type and customize your file if needed. You can then choose to save the file to your device or send it via email, text, or a method of your choice. To export sketches via DXF or additional file formats, a subscription to Measuron Pro is required. Leave the workspace by tapping back and leave the projects by again tapping back. Now you can see the home screen and your project with a little paper icon showing the number of workspaces stored inside it. We quickly added three new workspaces to your home screen. To group these workspaces and transform them into a project, just drag and drop one workspace onto the other. Now a new project with the workspaces has been created. A workspace can also be moved in and out of projects. Just tap the three dots in the workspace thumbnail, then tap Move. Select the desired project folder and tap Move Here to confirm. If you want to search for a workspace or project, just tap the magnifier on the upper right corner. To export and share a full PDF report of your project containing all sketches, photos, and notes, a Measure on Pro subscription is required. Tap on the project and then tap Share. Customize your report if needed. You can then choose to save the file to your device or send it via email, text, or a method of your choice. You can activate the Measure on Cloud to access measurements across multiple devices and store them securely. To do this, you must first create a single key ID. Tap the menu button and follow the steps to create a single key ID account. Once completed, you will have access to one demo project that will synchronize to the cloud. Look for the green check mark to verify that your project is successfully synchronized. To enable cloud backup for all of your projects with up to five gigabytes of storage, a subscription to Measure on Pro Cloud is required. After syncing to the cloud, your projects become instantly accessible on your laptop or desktop computer through the MeasureOn web portal. Simply follow the link provided in the description. Here, you can effortlessly manage and organize your data with our user-friendly interface.